Hello, I am Apple Strudel. We see complaints coming up more and more in the comments about our use of teddy bears. But first, I want to thank everyone that watches our videos and comments on them. We truly appreciate every single subscriber and viewer, and Cupcake loves reading the comments. That being said, there have been more comments about the use of teddy bears and how it is silly and childish, and we agree. That is the point. Why can't we be adults and still be silly and or childish? Our videos deal with exposing rude, vulgar, and childish people claiming to be First Amendment auditors. Sure, we can be very adult in our videos, but there are plenty of other channels doing that. We try to inject a little humor and silliness in our videos, and using teddy bears really helps with that. If you prefer a more serious approach to these types of videos, we completely understand. However, if you just want to let your guard down, let yourself be silly for a moment, and let yourself laugh at teddy bears making fun of these so-called First Amendment auditors, then we hope we can provide that for you. Lastly, I want to point out that the Muppets got famous making silly content for adults. Do you remember Fozzie the Bear? If not, here's a little reminder. Have a great day and night. Laugh and the whole world laughs with you. Ah! <laughs> uh, you can start any time now. Oh boy. Yeah, it's me again, the old fuzzy bear. It could be think we dog a laugh a minute by the clock. Well, yeah, well, you better check your clock. It looks like it stops. Oh, fuzzy, what are you carrying the fish for? Oh, just for the halibut. Hello, and what's your name? Mike Osnowitzki. Oh, so you're the telephone pole. Oh, here's my friend the weasel. Yeah. You know, he's the one who tells me when it's time to quit work. You know why? He's the five o'clock weasel. <laughs> you see it's whistle? <laughs> These are the oaks, folks. Wait a minute. I can handle this. I can cope with it. I am an important bear. I am capable. I am poor. I'm Fozzie. I, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. <laughs> okay, Chucky, listen. Uh, why does a chicken cross the road? <laughs> why does a chicken cross the road, Chucky? Say something, anything. <laughs> uh, uh, there was a sailor who was so bad. How fat was he? Uh, he was so fat that everybody liked him, and there was nothing funny about him at all. Hiya, hiya, hiya. You're a wonderful looking audience. It's a pleasure to be here. Hi, I'm Green, the comedian of the Bears. <laughs> Uh, here. That was the wrong here. Which is the right here? The other here. <laughs> go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> Bonnie, what are you carrying the hoop for? Ah, uh, because that little Waldorf are always saying the show is hoopless. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Keep going. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, did you hear the one about the nut who joined the army? Sure, they made him a colonel. Oh, 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 oh. oh that old chestnut! <laughs> You just cut that out, you pigs. Hey, speaking of pigs, what do you get when you cross an Eskimo and a pig? Oh, that's easy. You get a polar boar. <laughs> hey, hey, folks, this is a story you guys love to hear. Good grief, the comedians of America. Look who's that here? Not that here. No wish here. Another here. Chicken cross the internet to get to the other site. Ah! 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Say, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater. At the stage door, I passed a bunch of Muppet fans, and suddenly I hear. <laughs> Good grief, the comedian's a bear. <laughs> no, he's a nut, he's a wearer in the neck of time. <laughs> Did you understand that joke? No, but I don't speak Italian. Mm. <laughs>